Hi everyone, if you want to know how I create this full animation in Figma, take a seat, relax and enjoy this video. I need to say that this project was created in Sketch and animated in principle, but then I decided that same animation I can create in Figma and today it will be more interesting and useful for other people. So let's begin. This is full project in Figma and let's see how this assets looks. From client I have this jpg file and create png files for this bottle and cap. Cap consists of two layers and this top part of cap in front of bottle and this full cap behind this bottle and looks like this when I center it and match this cap I can close bottle in this way now let's animate this first of all I need to duplicate this robot then I'm going to prototype tab and press flow starting point. Rename it to screen 1. When I press this icon, I'm going to prototype preview, but it show me full page and I don't need it. Again, I'm select this artboard, go into prototype tab, show prototype settings. In device I'm select custom size and set these settings with high 790. Okay, now when I'm going to desktop preview, it will be cut my screen. Now I'm duplicate this artboard. Now for more cleaner view I want to resize these artboards to same high. I select these artboards, hold control and move these edges to the top to this high 790 and now I can animate. On my first screen I want to resize this text with scale 2 just resize and set opacity to 0 button going down set opacity to 0 bottle going up with cap like this and ellipse smaller Ok, now select first airport, go to prototype and wire up these two airports. In this panel, interaction details, I am select smart animate, easy in out and duration 2400. Ok, now let's see how it looks. When I press mouse we have this smooth animation. On our left panel we have these flows, screen 1 and screen 2. I can switch between these screens and play again my animation. Ok, but one problem that we have this smooth animation. If you check Instagram it looks different, you know, it's like a quick shoot, like a champagne and then slowly movement. And I need to recreate this in Figma. For this I need to create one more artboard and duplicate first Artboard. and now wired up 
this armboard and this armboard. Between these two armboards it will be quick shoot, like a champagne, and between these two armboards will be slowly movement. Okay, to create this I am select this interaction, go into interaction tail, smart animate, and select custom. Now we will have this custom graph for interaction between our armboards. I am already experimenting with this and for my case I have these two graphs. Okay, between these armboards it will be graph like this or I can simple copy and paste this coordinate in this field and set duration to 100. Okay, let's make some changes on this artboard. Maybe like uh, this. Okay, and between these two artboards it will be graphs like this. This will be slowly movement. Again, smart animate, custom, and let's recreate this graph like this. Okay, duration 24, 0, 0. Okay, all it means that on our first screen with this view it will be quick animation to this view and after this we will have slowly animation to this view. Okay, let's check. We have 200 milliseconds and here we have 2000 milliseconds. This is quick, this is slowly. And on between these arbors I am set after delay and set zero. Now let's see how it looks. Now I press first and we have this cool animation. Now one more time. Now we have quick and then slowly movement. If it's too hard to understand uh, you can look at these graphs like uh, one line for one animation. Uh, see this is one big line for one animation. Uh, in my case it's quick and then slowly. But you can create in different ways. It can be slowly and then quick. And you know you can even create two, three, four graphs and it can be in different way. It's maybe like this, then like this, then slowly and then super quick. You know, uh, with these graphs it's always uh, experimenting and experimented in every single cases. In my case it will be, it looks like this. Okay, now we can move on and let's create video in Figma. In Figma we can add GIF animations. It can be simple icon animation or small segment of video converted in GIF. But GIF files take many megabytes and to reduce this file size I will create animation exactly same size as my box in my prototype. I have these sizes. Then I'm going to Photoshop and create new document same size as my box in prototype. Let's create. From client I have this promo video with bottle and I want to create couple animations using this mp4 file and just drag and drop to Photoshop 
resize this video, go into window, timeline, press create video timeline and we have video that we can edit. Okay, let's find part of video, it will be end, then I'm just crop from right to the left and let's find start for our segment and we write here and crop from the left to the right and we have our segment maybe maybe four second okay this will be our video for give file uh, let's move this video a little bit to the right maybe like here yeah okay now I have this segment then I'm going to file export render video uh, prename it man drink select my folder and press render now I have this mp4 file same size as my box in prototype and now let's create gif from this mp4 file we can export a gif file from photoshop but I don't like this quality and using uh, mp4 to give converters we have a lot of online converters but I'm using this converter mp4 to give converter link will be in description now I'm drag and drop to this converter and press convert okay now we have our gif file is 17 megabyte press download now let's go to figma I have this mandrink gif file drag and drop in figma and place to my box now let's create flow for my full page go to prototype flow starting it will be full page let's go to animation select full page and if we go down we will have our gif animation looking like a video you know quality is super good and for prototype it's more than enough same technique I use for all other animations let's see how it looks I have animations for this section this section and this section now let's duplicate this artboard with all these animations rename to one and from this last artboard wired up and in interaction details and select after delay 0 millisecond and animation instant it means that after this artboard we are going to full page with all layer duplicate this artboard and now i can delete these layers and resize artboard only for three screens it's just for easier animating future now on this artboard I want to close bottle and move down and make it smaller select all layers and move up now I need to know where is my high for desktop preview and I can create simple guides just drag from the top right here and now I always know that all my content all these layers need to be between these two red lines select these layers move up and let's create interaction for this artboard this will be on click smart animate easy and out and duration 
24, 00. Let's see how it looks. When I click, we will have this cool animation. For next section, I need transformation from this bottle to bottle with water splash. Now I need to match perfectly these bottles for nice animation. Now I duplicate this artboard and on this left artboard I'm set opacity for bottle with splash to zero and on this artboard will be 100. Let's create transition and in transition details will be after delay 0 millisecond and dissolve linear and 600 now we will see quick transformation from this bottle to this bottle let's see how it looks nice yeah, see, it's working. Now I can go to the next section, duplicate artboard, and move these layers up, select all these bottle layers, rotate, move to all this circle, again select these layers, and move up right here create transition with standard settings it will be on click smart animate is in out and 2400 milliseconds let's see all this animation click we have transformation and then we have our rotation and I have one problem with see with this left uh, text to fix it I'm go to this last artboard go on to design tab and uncheck this clip content. When we click this checkbox it will show us all layers inside artboards and outside and my text you now need to be right here. Let's check when we click yeah it's fixed. Okay then I'm going to again to this artboard and again clip content. Now let's polish some elements. On this artboard I move this text to the right, right here, using arrows to go outside artboards and on this artboard, move this text to the left, again using arrows, and button go to the left. It means that in animation from this position, we will have these posi positions for text, and from this position, we will go to this. Let's check how it looks. When we click we have this text on the right and text on the left. Transform and rotation. Now let's make some effect for this section. Let's move down this layers like this and these images. 
Uh, we can make it this circle smaller. And let's see how it looks. When we click, we have this circle, zoom circle, and other layers, you know, float from the bottom. Move on to next section. Now I need to copy this section on this artboard. Move down. Copy artboard and move up. Maybe right here. Create transition and in this section I have mask and these images. Here we can just move this image down and mask. Okay, I'm going to mask group right here. Select this rectangle and make it smaller. I move down this bot button and title and for this image this will be you know a zoom out image from this big image to the small yeah, and yeah we can make this mask smaller and move down now let's see how it looks when I click I have all this animation one more time Whoop. nice go to next section I need to copy this give animation paste right here duplicate this artboard and move these layers up and again create transition. Now on this previous artboard I move down this text and I don't know maybe move to the right this animation. Let's see what we have. Click and we have this GIF animation with titles. Move on. We have this gallery section. Again, paste to this artboard. Duplicate artboard. And move up. Okay, in this section, I decided that this, you know, simple images. And I want to create a simple GIF with this bottle and let's make it in Photoshop. Again, I need to know exactly size for this GIF animation. I have these sizes and go into Photoshop and create again new document with same size. Click create. Go to window timeline create video timeline and from client I have these two images with you know, dark and light background just select this image and select dark image let's resize to this document Maybe right here and I need to match dark bottle and light bottle maybe rotate uh, right here okay now I'm delete background and copy my light and copy light image 
Now we are going to this panel and make some edits. Okay, now I can add fade for each of these layers. Go to this panel, choose fade and drag to this layer and drag to this layer. Now let's make duration maybe for second. Okay, for second. And let's see what we have. We have this light bottle. Bottle. Then we go in fade with dark bottle. Hmm. Oh, post. Okay. Now let's see. Dark, light dark and light okay we can make it quicker I mean, like here let's check dark and light i can save for web like a gif just save uh, name it portal light and just place in right position in Figma okay we can delete this place in gallery and now I need a copy from this robot and paste on previous robot for animation now let's create transition and let's see what we have click mm, one more time click yeah we have this gif animation in figma let's go to next section this will be uh, this hand with bottle copy and paste to this robot duplicate robot select these layers and move up okay this section consists of simple background and hand you know png hand with title and this bottle hand between this text now on this previous screen i can move down this text and rotate this hand like this move down and this title too maybe even zoom this background let's make transition and let's see how it looks click and we have this color emission. Oh, I have this problem. Okay. Oh, this is too big image. Okay, let's place behind this gallery. One more time. Mm. animation and nice we have this bottle with hand okay go to next section this will be these four bottles and again paste like that. and now let's make something interesting with the bottles okay this is mask and we have this four bottle 
inside this mask and on previous screen I can you know, move this bottle in this place this bottle down this bottle up and down and on this screen you now I can make this mask for full size for full screen and maybe title down okay let's see how it looks one click and we have this movement with bottles but I need check this high right here and right here okay we can move this bottle one more time like here and let's see one more time Click and go let's go next and it will be simple parallax I'm copying all these layers paste to this artboard like this and then duplicate press ctrl D and make more layers now I'm just move all these layers right here On next artboard, move these layers and these layers, and we have our footer and then now, now let's create transition for each of these artboards and let's move layers on this previous screen I'm just you know place down these layers maybe rotate this cap then we have this export review going down 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 okay and we have now this insta photo I don't know, we can maybe go to the right oh no, let's make it with mask I'm create simple rectangle and make use as mask then I'm select mask make smaller oops and move these photos down in this title too when we're going to this oh now I need to copy and paste to this artboard like this and our last screen will be only with this footer okay let's check all these transitions okay and let's see how it looks when we go with these bottles then we have this title reviews and this Instagram and photo oh see this we we have some problem when we go in to next screen I just forget to copy and paste these Instagram photos 
Let's see. Okay, it's working. Now let's create fade in white and back to our first screen. For this I create simple rectangle with white color. Then I'm copy and paste on my previous artboard, set opacity to zero and copy and paste same rectangle to my first screen of this project and set opacity to zero. Now let's create transitions between this last arbors. It will be on click, is marked animate, is in out and 600. And between last arbor and first artboard it will be after delay 600 dissolve linear and 100 in a second now let's see how it looks this is footer I'm click fade in and go to first screen of this project now let's see full animation one more time that's all i hope you like it don't be shy like subscribe follow me on instagram behance and dribble accounts also you can buy me a pizza all links will be in description have a nice day and see you next time